I like how just dropped in the middle of the screen. I can literally like move this up for a And see, oh it's top of the screen. Poison and shit. That's fine. <coughs> oh, we're off the poison. In a short Now, this kid here. Free him and then immediately kill him. Just do what I'm doing. Approach him. Because he'll run away with the golden claw because he has it right there. Just kill him. Easier said than done. Or actually, easier done than said, really, to be honest. The guy doesn't have that much health. Now, next step find the secret. This is where it gets a little bit devious. This is where you start fighting enemies that are somewhat. We have to draw more. These guys are like. I don't know, I really want to call them zombies, but they're more of a dead sleepers, because they come at your swords and shit. So, just torch them. They're not that hard. I can kill them in a short amount of time. Now, trap! Jump over that shit. Come over here, and... Hold your horses. Leveled up. <laughs> Alright, let's get that to 200. And take dual casting. That takes less mana, and it looks kind of crazy. And I kill that dude pretty fucking quick. Just come down here, talk to this dude. Oh, now I burn ya. I am just so good at this game. Now, I think there's actually- yeah, there's a chest right here. I knew there was something in this area here. Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking apprentice lock. That's just the freaking shit there. Let's go ahead and... Fucking pendulums! How you kill them? Just run right through them. Activate that chain. Two chains, but I got to me a few iron. Or, I don't know what the fuck the lyric is. All I know is the two chains. Kinda sucks. Just kidding. He's 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 decent. He's better than Little Wayne's rhyme everything with Mega Man. Or I'm sorry. I don't. When I say something vulgar, I usually don't mean it. Like if I say if I call somebody a Jew, it's because they're a nickname. I really don't want to call somebody by like the race or something. Like just I'm not that kind of dude. I'm not like the lead member of the KKK or anything. But I'm pretty sure Brady is. You'll see why when you meet him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's not much racism on here. If there is, it's just not like serious racism. Like, I don't sit down and talk to the Hispanic community, calling them all beaners and stuff. No, because they're humans too. Actually, I read a report that sometime in a couple years, the Hispanics gonna over conquer the whites in a. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you call it. Numbers, so like we would they wouldn't be considered a minority, they'd be higher race in a sense that there's more of them than white people. Which is kind of weird, because we kinda of came from this perspective that we were never gonna be the minority and their the uh, people in Mexico are just like, No! It's our turn. And I'm like, that's and I'm not just, I'm not, when I say Mexico I just don't mean exactly Mexico, I mean like Spain, all the places that are related to Hispanic culture. Don't get me wrong, I'm educated to a point where I, I know things, but I don't know everything and act like I know everything. I know some things. And if I say something that's wrong on here, don't take it out on me. Take it out on the teachers that teach me these things, or the people that I know that teach me these things. Because it sometimes really isn't my fault. So I'm just gonna go ahead and torch this dude down to the smithereens. See, I just love magic because it does so much damage, but nobody takes the time to really comprehend that. Or take the time to do all this. Blah, blah, blah. Apprentice locks are my number one enemy to end this episode. So I don't know why my screen just. It's all the way down there. God. What time is it? It's almost six o'clock. <sighs> let's get this done. So let's go ahead and enter the chamber of dreams. 
James, as they call the Chamber of Dreams. Pendulums! No! Kill all the zombie warrior thingies. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and torch this dude up here. Fuck the fire. And I just found him in flames. Dude. I honestly love magic because it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Like, archery is good, a swordsman is okay, but magic, uh, it's kind of overpowered. Not saying that it's too overpowered or anything. Just, um, it's superior, but it requires mana when swords and arrows and shit don't require anything but ammunition and, uh, an actual sword and strength. Now, for all those that are playing this game, here's a tip. I mean, instead of memorizing this code every time you play a new game, just spin the wheel twice. I've learned this through experiences. I just learned if you touch, if you, well, if you just spin all those wheels twice, you get it. And it's correct when it's all the owl thingies. That are like, yeah, those are owls. I think they should be owls. If they're not. I don't know what the fuck they are. <laughs> and then you get into the chamber of dreams, chamber of kingdoms, the chamber of the wall, which is all the way over there. This kind of looks. This is one of the parts of this game that makes it look so outstanding. It's like visuals like this. Like, this is off. <laughs> Fell in the river. I need an ambulance. Oh, black better. Now, as you can tell, I'm one of the people that just runs to uh, chests. Like, if I see a chest, I'm like, that chest is mine. Go ahead and absorb the word, because you know the bird is the word. Now I think there should be a guy on this coffin, and it should be like a drug. Boss. He's an overlord. Oh shit! Get my shit together. Get my shit together. This guy is like, yeah, he does that. He shoots. He shouts at you because he's mad. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I'm gonna take your sword and run away. And I'm gonna take that and, run, and I'm just gonna loot you and run away. Because I'm scared. I haven't played this beginning part in a bit. Last time I played this was probably like a week ago. So I really don't. Well, not the beginning part, but I played this game. Last time I played it was a week ago. So I really don't know the shit that's gonna pop out and try murdering me now. That's also one thing. Everyone in this game is totally intolerant. Like, I'll. Like put, I'll take something. They come over here, smack me in the face with an iron sword so I die, and then they just put it back. Like, really? Like, can you not just, like, say, hey, put it back? I'm like, ugh, fine. You know, you have to come over there, fucking kill me, and then just grab it back. Like, it's yours, and with brute fucking force. Because you own the place. You obviously own the place. I'm lashing out. <laughs> Alright, we're out of the cave. Now, I'm gonna go to... I have no rules with fast traveling at all. In fact, I encourage... I, I fast travel like it's my day job. So let's go world map. Back to Riverwood. I really, because I know some people that play are like, you only could fast travel to major cities and you run there. Fuck no, I'm gonna fast travel to the exact fucking point I gotta go to. I got time. I don't have time to waste, I have time to play. Because I only have certain time to play this until I have to go do stuff. Because I'm only in eighth grade, I have homework to do. <laughs> got bitches to meet, friends to hang out with. It's a busy fucking life. I mean, for all those who can remember their 8th grade or want to be in their 8th grade year, can't wait for it, or are underage, I don't know the situation with most of the viewers here. But if you were older, like, say, 9th or... 9th <laughs> or what the fuck does it even mean? But, like, an older person, you, found you know it. what I'm talking about. 8th grade was pretty cool. There it is. Nothing. I'm bad happened. But if I'm gonna be this big, bad happened. This. Sorry for You've you. Done a great thing so far, so good. We're halfway sister. through the year. And. Ooh, 400 gold. We're fucking floating in the money. We already have $1,000? How many banks did I rob in the time I was playing with this game? Jesus Christ, I've never been level 3 and have $1,000. I'm like, amazing. It's kind of cool if you ask me. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and run on to uh, 
I don't know what you could call it. Like, uh, when, wait, run. God, I can't think of today. Today has been a complicated day. And let's torch this moose. Torched ya. Now, I like killing these deer, or killing these deer, because they're antlers. Pretty cool. Or not, they're, they're antlers. Oh, I killed a rabbit! I didn't realize I was a rabbit until I killed it. If you have no idea how rabbits are hard to kill without magic, it's nearly impossible. Like, try killing with a sword, it runs too fast. Kills an arrow, it runs away too quick, so you can't really aim it. So when, it's a lose-lose situation for that. But, um... With, um... This, you can just torch them. Now, I know there's a giant down here. I think there should be a giant down here. There should be. 